up you guys this is iPod John and this is my official returnal I have been on vacation ever since my last video I've gotten a job and everything but you guys will do not give a damn about that so today is going to be a tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be on how to fix the multitasking feature in your iPhone 3G firmware 4.2.1 so let's get this started and I'm going right now I'm basically going to show you what happens when it crashes basically so as you guys can see here I have uh, my photo open and uh, this is what happens when you when I try to go on my messages freezes up completely nothing to do and then you see it's gonna respring itself into safe mode you know that type of bullshit and I know some people can see some of that shit right there I got yeah, fucking stuck pixels. That's what I call bullshit. Alright, so once the iPhone has resprung itself, you guys see it's under safe mode, yada yada yada. I'm going to help you guys step by step on how to get your multitasking feature to work completely. So I'm just going to get myself out of safe mode, and I'm going to show you guys a better picture quality of my screen. Alright you guys, so now you guys can see my iPhone 3G on basically on my Mac. So basically right now what we are going to do is go into Cydia. So once Cydia is open, what you guys are going to want to do is go into the Manage tab and then hit on Sources. And you guys are going to want to add the respiratory source called repo.insanelyi.com I'll have that in this description below and on the video so once you guys have that already added and everything you guys are going to want to go into that one source and instead of scrolling down looking for one for one application just go over to the i and look for an application called iFile and basically all iFile is is like the crazy shit that's in your iPhone or iPod or whatever and really iFile is like from everything from your specs and all of that so as you guys see right there it's iFile you know just hit that so as you guys can see here iFile insanely i it's good for all devices it's basically a file manager slash viewer. It's basically every single codec or embedded code that's in your iDevice. And basically it goes from how does it work to how does the stuff look like. Really you don't want to tamper with that. But what you guys are going to want to do at least is just install it at least just for the whole multitasking feature. So just install that. I already have it installed so I'm going to get out of I file and this is what you guys will see a little Apple logo that used to be before the whole Apple sign so what you guys are gonna want to do is go into the I file and I have no idea if it's gonna take you to this exact screen but if it doesn't basically go click on the back button up until you can get to the whole just the little slash hash whatever that thing is called and what you guys are going to want to do is go under system library and then from the library you guys are going to want to go into the core services that's basically where all the crazy shit happens so you guys are going to see all this other stuff here. The only folder you need to get into right now is the springboard.app. And then you guys are going to see all of that. All you guys need to look for is just scroll down and look for a file called n825p, I believe, .plist. Basically, it's a file in which has all of the features how the iPhone works and all of that so this is all under alphabetical order so what you guys just gotta look for is n82ap.plist so just press on that file 
and you're going to see these two little buttons. Just click on text viewer because you're going to edit that soon. And you guys are going to see all this crazy embedded HTML coding. Basically, the only thing we're going to be tampering with is a file called... Um, I don't remember how it's called, but I do know how it looks like. Oh, here it is. It's the open GLES one. And what you guys are going to want to do is just press on the edit button that's in the top left corner and just hit on the open gliss, whatever that thing says, dash one. And just to have your multitasking feature to work, all you got to do is change that one into a two. So you basically just change the one into a two and that's basically the HTML code for your multitasking feature. So click done, save, and then click done again. And now go back to your springboard and if you don't have SB settings then you're gonna have to turn off and turn back on your iPhone but I have SB settings so instead of turning it on and back off I am going to respring my iPhone 3G so you guys once your iPhone has resprung or rebooted you guys are just gonna want to go in as usual you guys can see nothing has changed after what we did see nothing at all and I'm just gonna show you guys that what I showed you does work so I'm in my photo and I'm about to go into my messages you guys can see right there and I'm gonna do it again I'm going to my iPhone to my iPod and like that so as you guys can see this method did work it's better than going into your SSH or whatever the hell it's called we get to do the more crazy stuff so yeah you guys so thank you for watching this video so this is iPod John you guys and peace out